Being registered with a GP is really important. You should probably do it before you start to feel ill. There are lots of things to consider when deciding which GP to register with. Choosing a surgery that is close to where you live is always a good idea. Each GP practice covers an area called a practice boundary and you'll usually need to live inside it to register there. Recommendations from family and friends are always a good place to start and can help you decide what you're looking for in a GP practice. It's a good idea to find out what time their last appointment is or if they run clinics in the evenings or at the weekend. Once you've chosen your surgery, you'll be asked to fill in some details and show some ID. If you have your NHS number, you'll need that too, along with details of your last doctor so that records can be sent over. You might also need a screening appointment with the nurse. If you don't live here permanently, or you're only going to be here for a short time, you can still register with a GP as a temporary patient for up to three months. You won't be able to register as a permanent patient unless you're here for six months or more. If you do live here more than half the time, you really need to register as a permanent patient. A GP surgery should register you if you live within their boundary and their patient list isn't full. If they can't register you, you should ask for a letter of refusal explaining why. It is important that you keep this letter as you might need it later on. If you have any problems, you can call our patient advice and liaison service on 0800 015 1462 for help. There are plenty of other services available where you can be seen quickly and conveniently. So think about it and choose the right care.